most probably some of you guys um, are waiting uh, for quite some time for me to release uh, this video about uh, Greylock 3.1 and the reason that I haven't uh, done it it was that I was away for a while something like three weeks uh, and more than this Greylock were or Greylock 3.1 wasn't very stable um, after the beta they released the release, release candidate which was a little bit more stable compared to the beta and on uh, August 16th they released uh, Greylock 3.1 which again had some issues for um, real production it didn't make uh, any kind of sense to upgrade to the latest version but um, on uh, September, I think it was on uh, September 4th, when they released uh, Greylock 3.1.1 and this one had uh, a lot of fixes which were uh, dealing with the problems from the first release and right now uh, I think it's quite stable and uh, if you have a production environment you could actually upgrade to it. Before jumping into the CLI, we will need to go to the um, documentation webpage and see how we can uh, upgrade Greylog. So we will gonna go for installing, then operating system. Depending on your operating system, if you have a Debian or RPM, you can choose whatever. Yeah. In uh, my case, I have a RPM, and we have here update to the latest version. So, in order to update to the latest version, we will need to run uh, these three commands in that order. So, let's do that. But uh, before upgrading, um, let me show you guys something. Uh, usually when um, uh, I would like to update my system I wouldn't like to update uh, some kind of uh, packages like for example uh, Greylog, Mongo and Elasticsearch and uh, this is the way you uh, need to exclude them from the YAM update. Over here I'm missing actually one which is uh, Java so let me put Java here because when you do the YAM updates you don't want to automatically update Elasticsearch, Mongo, Greylog or your Java for compatibility issues. If you're gonna run uh, the latest version of Java might, might not be uh, compatible with your uh, Greylog application. Yeah, so let's do this. Anyway, I'm not going to do any kind of YAM update right now. I will just upgrade Greylog. But before, in, before updating Greylog, we will need to stop the Greylog service. Okay, let's check the status. Okay, and it's not running. Let's retake uh, this line. Let's do the yum clean all. with a dash y at the end saying that yes we agree with everything and we would like to install everything related to the, to the Greylock server and yeah this one didn't work uh, we will need to go back to the yam config file and take out uh, Greylock for this moment and we can add it back later yeah
and right now as you can see it works fine Okay, everything is good. We will not need to go back to the YAM config file to exclude gray log for future updates. So if you're doing the, this, just remember that uh, you need to take it out or put it back in once you finish the upgrade. Okay, cool. Uh, let's restart the Greylock service. Let's check the status. Everything is running fine. Let's go uh, to the web page. Uh, yeah, here we will need to log in. And as you can see, we are running the latest version of Greylog uh, 3.1.1. So this is the way you upgrade your Greylog system. In the next video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the differences between the 3.0 version and 3.1 version.